Frankfurt police officer Samuel Amaduri filed this notice of claim on Friday. In it, he says he was harassed and assaulted by Frankfurt police chief Steve Connolly. They say even 7% is too much. They want it down to zero. Is that possible? It should be minus 5%. It, it, it should be a but reduction. But is that possible? Well, anything's possible, Pat. Spilled over the bridge and, of course, up here on the embankment, as you can see. And check out these ice chunks. Some of them even bigger than this one, but this one right here is a good four feet wide and three feet long. Underwater, let's kind of measure it right now just to give you an idea of what it is. So I stick the tape measure down. It's coming up about eight and a half, nine inches. Otsego County has the lowest percentage of returns at 51%. Hundreds from the Mohawk Valley expected to come out here and watch the Orange play in person. Police say last Friday a white Cooperstown High School student chased a black student down the street and shot him. Well, today the mother of a black student in the Cooperstown School District says that harassment is a common thing and that it's not always about race. I don't think it was a hate crime. What do you think it was? I just think they're, they're teenage boys. They're fighting and it went too far. The mother of a black Cooperstown student agreed to talk to us on camera, but wished to have her identity remain anonymous. She says she and her daughter were shocked to hear of the shooting on Friday between two other students. She kept asking and saying, Mom, if there was school today, do you think this would have happened in the school? She didn't want to go back to Cooperstown. She thinks that it's going to happen to the whole school. The mother says her daughter and other students who do not, quote, fit in for whatever reason are often bullied and harassed at school. Because if you're not a doctor's kid, a lawyer's kid, good in sports, good in school, you're picked on numerously all the time, all the kids. To everybody else, they're all doing it. Like everybody's picking on everybody. It doesn't make a difference. White, black, Puerto Rican, anything. You're picked on. The mother says as much as there is a social divide, there is oftentimes that racial divide, something she says she and her daughter have experienced. I was senior in high school and I was constantly called a n lover because they found out I was pregnant by an African American. The same thing my daughter is called a all the time. Now, in response to the claims of bullying and racial tension in the school district, Cooperstown's superintendent says, quote, we were totally shocked by Friday's events. There have been no prior indications of racial problems at our school, end quote. Most everyone tonight in New Hartford wanted answers as to how this could happen, who's to blame, and more importantly, how can it be fixed? They screwed up, okay? I mean, bottom line. For two hours, the New Hartford Town Board listened to upset taxpayers vent over a proposed 54% tax hike while demanding to know what went wrong. Take responsibility for your actions, regardless of the political consequences that you may suffer individually as a result there, thereof, and be true leaders. A good majority of the full room took advantage of the open forum to speak. While many used the time to say how upset they were, others offered suggestions to fix the problem. Why can't you consolidate your 9-11 department with the county of Oneida? A uh, request a freeze on all salaries and wages for one year. The proposed $12.8 million budget and 54% tax hike would raise property taxes $178 a year on the average home assessed at $150,000. However, current town supervisor Earl Reed says those numbers are not set in stone and the budget is still a work in progress. Continue to hammer away at this budget. It's not going to be 54%. We're going to just keep working on it. So uh, we had great input from the citizens tonight.